All right, YouTube, how's it going? Uh, I'm doing a quick install here of uh, a Myad Grip, M-I-A-D, which stands for Mission Adaptable Grip from Magpul, and this is an AR-15, uh, M&P-15 Sport by Smith & Wesson. This is a mass compliant version. You see a couple differences here. I already have my upper and lower receiver apart. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, then I'm not going to trust you to change your grip. So. Uh, <laughs> uh, I looked and I couldn't find this anywhere, so I thought it would be pretty cool to kind of give you a quick view of uh, of the Maya grip itself. I, the, the information on the Magpul website itself is actually pretty crappy. Uh, it doesn't show you a whole lot. There's no videos that I found. Um, the reason why I got this, there's a couple different ones that I really liked, but um, unless you get a chance to feel them in your hand, it's kind of difficult to uh, to determine you know, what's perfect for you, what has the, the best, uh, really the best palm swell, I think is what makes the biggest difference. So let's get started here. Uh, the reason why I looked at this grip is because uh, on the on the stock grip that comes with the MMB-15 Sport, I'm left-handed, my, uh, my trigger finger would just really wants to kind of overreach the trigger. And I kind of have to really stick that knuckle out uh, in, in order to get a good, a good pad on the trigger finger there. So... Um, <clears throat> So what we're going to do is real quick just look at what comes in there and then we'll put it together real quick and I'm sure everybody's familiar with how to actually install a grip but we'll walk through that just because I'm doing it. So this is the Maya grip here, this is the basic grip. Uh, everything you see here comes with it. Uh, with it you get this little uh, compartment that holds three shells. I went ahead and put the shells in there just so you can see. Just so you do know there is a, a real detent, if you will, at the bottom that really grabs onto these shells. So when you put them in there, they're not quite in until you give them a push and they actually go click and they actually click in there, holds three shells. Um, I'm not taking this in combat. Uh, I, I target shoot. I have fun with this. So uh, I won't be using this. I'll put an extra battery in there. They make a special holder that's like 20 something bucks for a, a, what is it, a CR-123. But I'll just wrap it in a little bit of bubble wrap, stuff it in there, and I'll be all set. But that goes in the bottom. And there's a little kind of dovetail rail on the front side of this cartridge. And you can kind of see the dovetails right in the, the forward portion of the grip. And that locks in there pretty good. I don't know if I'm thrilled with the way that that locks in, but there's a little lever. You kind of want to grip the sides. There's nice little grab points. It holds in there very, very well. It really feels like it's locked. But it doesn't take much to push the little button. Or maybe it does take much. Push the little button and pop it out. So <clears throat> uh, that's kind of nice, just to have a little bit of storage. That was a selling point for me. Enough with that. There's two front straps here. There's not a lot of difference to them. They're identical in height. They're identical in profile. The only difference uh, is your little, uh, your little finger swell between your uh, middle finger and your ring finger. So these slide in from the top and that's going to be it right there. That's the only difference is this little tiny, oh, I'm going off frame here, sorry about that, uh, this little uh, tiny helper if you will between your middle finger and your ring finger. You got a note on the front portion of the grip that is replaceable. Once you put it on there you can't change it on the fly. So pick which one you like, put it on there before you install it. I'm going to go ahead and install this one I do like the added control, the added feel, knowing exactly where it is, put my hand in the same place every time uh, by leaving that little finger swell in there. So I'm going to keep that, I'm going to keep that right on there like that. Once I install it, I can't change it. However, there are three different back straps that they give you. Uh, a very small flat swell here. These install on the same kind of dovetail rails from the bottom up. And there's a little tiny notch. You can see that right there. So you can get a good shot of that. There's a little tiny notch to allow you to take that back down. And what you do, <clears throat> that, that notch is actually on the palm swell itself. So you'll pull it in towards the palm swell as you slide it down. That slides off. The nice thing about these, which I think is really cool, like I said, there's not a lot of difference with these. So pick the one you like. You can always switch it easy enough. but. Uh, it's really the back strap that you're going to want to change. You can do that on the fly. You can do that in about three seconds. So you can take a couple to the range. Uh, whatever you're doing, maybe you like the thicker one for certain things, you like the, the real small one for close quarters, whatever it is. 
So you get three different options, ranging small, medium, and large. <coughs> uh, I will be most likely using the large, but I'll be able to try them both. <coughs> so uh, I got two hands. So there's a compete, uh, comparison <coughs> of the medium and the large. Large being this one here. And uh, let's see, let me compare in this direction here, the medium to the small. So you leave the extra tail. Uh, that kind of gives you that spur, which I like. So I will most likely use the medium or the large. I'm going to start just for fun with the medium on now. Okay, the other thing that's kind of important to note before we actually do the installation here. Uh, I'll throw this in out that I care. Oh, by the way, uh, this these shells go in a little a little rubber cartridge boot that uh, that you can easily pop out and throw that in, and you can really get quite a bit of area in there. You can kind of see it. I'm sure you can't see it on the video there, but you can kind of see it if you take the uh, the front strap off. That there's quite a bit of room in there. I would say you got uh, you got right about that much here, uh, and it really is it really is quite deep. You really get the full the full width of it. So <clears throat> that pops out if you want to reduce a little bit of weight. I uh, probably don't care about that, um, but you can stick in there whatever you want. Other very important thing, I'm going to take <clears throat> I'm going to take the grip off my lower receiver now. On the M&P 15 Sport. This grip is a uh, 3 16 Allen, and it's pretty long, so I actually had to go out. Uh, I didn't have an extra long uh, 3 16 Allen key, so I had to go out and pick one up. But the Myad grip comes with its own screw, and that's what I want to talk about real quick. Uh, the Magpul Myad comes with a shorter, and I'll show that in a second as soon as I get this off, uh, a shorter flathead screw. So there's mine coming out. You want to hold the grip up. If you don't know this, you want to you want to hold that grip up and in place because there's a detent screw, uh, detent spring and detent for your selector switch in the grip. Now I'm actually going to leave it. I have a little bit of grease up in there. Uh, if you watch my previous video, you got to me to uh, to see me install the Rock River ambidextrous safety. I really enjoy that. Um, <clears throat> leave that spring and that de detent in there just so my safety doesn't move anywhere. The ambidextrous one can't fall out, um, so that's not a concern, but there's your hole right in there and the spring came out of it. <clears throat> so, what I want to point it out, get that right out of the way. Uh, if you read the instructions, it does come with a one-page sheet of instructions. The screw that they give you is significantly shorter. It also has a little bit of Loctite on it, which is a good thing. Uh, I wish they wouldn't have given you a flathead screw, because it is a pain to put in this grip. It's really stupid to try to install in the in the grip itself before you screw it into your lower receiver. Um, I don't know why they did that. That makes no sense. But the distance does make sense. The floor where this screw is going to bottom out on your Myad grip is higher than on your stock grip. And what will happen if you put this if you put this longer screw into your Myad grip, it will go past where it should and it will go uh, further into your lower receiver than it's intended to go. So you really need to get rid of this screw, make sure you don't use it, use the supplied screw instead. So, uh, Real quick, the other thing that it comes with, just so that you know, is a little roll pin here, and I'm not going to take it out of the bag, but what the roll pin is for is if, uh, I don't know why, because it has a catch here, but if you wanted to more permanently install the back strap that you choose, you could put a little roll pin right in the hole. If I'm really clever, I can get you so you can see through that hole, but it's not going to happen. Right in the hole, and you can uh, semi-permanently mount that. Obviously, you can still change it. You can pop that roll pin out. Uh, looks like a, probably a number two punch. Pop that roll pin out and uh, switch your back strap out. Put another, put the roll pin back in. So that comes. I'm not going to use it. <clears throat> I have no need to do that. <clears throat> so the hardest part about this install, I'll take this door back off. Okay, so we ran into a little snag here. Uh, with this screw that is supplied. I complain about the fact that it's a slotted screw which is difficult to install uh, but as I began installing it what I found out is that they had already uh, put some blue Loctite on there and that blue Loctite is so gummy that it makes the installation of this screw very very difficult and to verify that it wasn't a, a bad thread or that I had misthreaded my lower receiver or something else 
Uh, this is a basic quarter 28 screw, and um, uh, I just thread it into a quarter 28 nut, and it's very, very tight. It's too tight for my receiver, so I'm not going to use this screw. Uh, I will replace this screw at some point with something with either a, either a nice hex head, uh, probably something like this with a nice nice Allen head be perfect. Um, so what I did instead, just for the purposes of finishing this, this video, is as I mentioned, the, the, uh, the new screw is significantly shorter, so I put a stack up on top of the original screw, which still goes in very nicely, um, <clears throat> and my threads are fine, to be able to go ahead and put this grip in. So what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and finish this install. This, of course, is much easier to insert. It's a really nice, tight fit. I really like that. So we get a good start there. It goes in nice, much smoother. You don't need to over tighten this. The original Allen screw on this, um, verify you get no movement on there, it's beautiful. The original screw on this uh, had an external tooth, external tooth washer on, which I put back in there, and uh, really doesn't need to be very tight. Came out very easily, put it in very easily. Um, that's it. So that is the installation of the Myad grip from Magpul. Uh, it really does have a, a very nice feel. I can already tell that my my trigger position is much better. You can see my, my finger is much more flush along the side of the lower receiver when I have a good uh, a good pad on that trigger. Uh, and this is just a stock trigger. Very simple matter to replace that back strap. Just make sure that you get it all the way up there, get a nice positive click. And I will definitely be using that. Uh, that really puts my, my finger right along that lower receiver. Gives me a really nice trigger pull. Of course, I'm left-handed. I know this won't be applicable to everyone, but uh, really nice feel. <clears throat> my ad grip from Magpul. Hope you enjoyed getting to see that a little bit closer. Uh, of course, there is that roll pin spot. Well, I got the light through it, roll pin spot, if you wanted to go ahead and put that in permanently, if it was sliding off for you, but uh, I won't do that. Looking forward to taking this to the range tomorrow and seeing if it improved my accuracy at all. Uh, thank you so much. Appreciate you watching. If you like this video, if it was helpful for you, please go ahead and click on that like button. And uh, stay tuned as we install a Vortex Strike, Strike Fire? Strike Force. Vortex Optic on top of my MNP15 Sport Mass Compliant AR-15 Rifle. Thanks for watching.